Now we're gonna go into our top rookies, all time top rookie seasons. Uh, Jamar Chase might come up in this conversation because that rookie season for Jamar Chase, they go to the Super Bowl, crazy stat line, all that. Miles started off. Let's give shoot them off for me. Your pause. Shoot, shoot. What's your five? Miles, Miles has no problem shooting it off for you. <laughs> hey yo. Say what now? <laughs> <laughs> uh all right and this this is any sport this is any sport any any sport whoever whoever you want i'm gonna go mike trout uh coming up as a 20 year old after he had like a rough time coming up at 19 to almost win an mvp as a rookie I think that's got to be one of the best rookie seasons of all time. I mean, if not for a Hall of Famer and uh, Miguel Cabrera, I mean, he's MVP as a rookie. I mean, he's probably the greatest player of this generation, baseball-wise. And it's sad to see all the injuries, you know, catching up to him. But like young Mike Trout, I mean, there wasn't a better baseball player in baseball than that. Um, Let me see who else I got. I might just yeah, I this this might be tough because I didn't prepare five either. But I, I mean, thought I thought it was gonna go round robin, but we can get into it. No, I'm gonna right, Miles, no, no, go ahead. Miles, you go with your first one. If yeah. that if that works for everybody, Miles go with your first one, Chris go with yours. Yeah, this is this is a this is a free space. We could we could do that. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna go let me go before Chris because yeah, he might do something that pisses me off. I don't <laughs> hey, want the first LS. If the first LSU receiver brought up in this conversation isn't Odell Beckham, I'll be pissed off. Odell Beckham is in this conversation. His rookie year was crazy. And, and I mean, he burst he burst onto the scene in a way that not many receivers have all time. The numbers are insane. Jerry Rice level records. Um, He was amazing. He was amazing. Yak, uh, separation, uh, all of it. Charisma, or what the kids call aura. He has aura, all that. So I'm, I'm going with Odell Beckham as a as a pick in this conversation. And in 12 games, he was he was out for four uh, four of them or whatever. What, what, what time was 16 season? Uh, for four of them with a hamstring injury. So he did that. He he was incredible. He was unguardable, unguardable. Prime Odell. So, yeah. Boring. Boring. Is, yo, when he, just keep that in the clip while you're running the highlights, so people can discredit him, bro. Because like you would have said Jamar, you would have said Jamar Chase first. That's what that was crazy. I fell asleep. That's what's crazy. What you mean? I am. I am going to say Jamar Chase. What do you? What do you wow. mean? I, I, I'm, I'm going to. Uh, I might not say Jamar Chase. Yo. you might have a tail. You might have a tail right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's orange and black too. Nah. Oh, Jamar. Jamar had. 150 more yards than Odell did in his rookie year. How many Jamar, Jamar Trace won Offensive Rookie of the Year. He had 14, over 14, 50 yards as a rookie. Come on, man! Like, what? What are we talking about? Can I run down his stat line? Go ahead and, and run down OBJ's too. Eighty. OBJ had 10 more passes caught than than Jamar, but. Who, who else did Eli have to throw to? 81 receptions, 1,455 yards, 13 touchdowns, and in that four-playoff game run to the Super Bowl, 368 yards, which was top for a rookie to do in the playoffs at that time. And, and mind you, one of those games against one of the best, the best cornerbacks considered at that time, Marlon Humphrey, Put 266 yards on his head in how Baltimore. Many, how many games did he play? Uh, it was a 17 game season. Not sure if he played all 17 games that year. No, he did. <laughs> how many old? How many old Dell played? How many old Dell played? Twelve. 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 Crazy. That's hard. It's hard to argue the like. Jamar Odell. over Odell, just because it ain't numbers, an argument. The numbers are pretty similar, and he played like four less games. You know, the catch. Come on, stop. 
the catch was the catch is insane. I'm not saying Jamar wasn't impressive. He put up almost 1,500 yards as a rookie, but like he played a full slate of games. So the debate of who was better as a rookie, I mean, just average that out. Those four games that Odell missed, he's probably closer to like 1,700. That's yep. fair. That's fair. But Jamar's still in this conversation, though. We talk I about top rookies all the time. He's still in the conversation. That's what we, we but but you players. you all right. I'll I'll give you your flowers. You're 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 clear to put him above above Jamar. You he have my permission. <laughs> you have his blessing. <laughs> this is the second time he's been. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, bro. <laughs> That nigga not just purr at me, bro. This nigga. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> this nigga Chris just purred at me, bro. You, you want to keep calling? You want to keep calling me a uh, striped tiger over here? You gonna get some purrs? You got Tony the tiger over here. <laughs> this, nigga just, this nigga just growled at me, bro. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start with, with uh, baseball, just like Miles. I'm gonna go with Ichiro Suzuki. Ichiro Suzuki, that rookie uh, season. Yeah, yeah. 242 hits, 56 stolen bases, 350 batting average, 69 RBIs. He was AL MVP, rookie of the year, all star, golden glove, and a silver slugger off that first season. Ichiro Suzuki, my pick right there. Whoever want to go with they, they next pick. I mean, who is it? Will Chamberlain, plumber, plumbers or not? I knew, I knew you were going to bring plumbers. him up. Comers or not, 30, 38 and 28 is crazy. It's crazy. So that's definitely one of the greatest, if not the greatest, rookie season in NBA history. Miles, you might have a story back then, bro. I mean, shoot. Where the time machine at? <laughs> um, I, I mean – I'm trying to touch all the sports. This is why it took me a little while longer. But um, hockey, I, I think I go with Alex Ovechkin in his rookie year um, coming in. And, and look, I'm there's no secret about it. I'm not as I, I'm. I was indoctrinated into hockey by my dad. My dad's a big hockey fan, so I as only as why I would even know anything about this. But he had a hell of a first year um, in the NHL and really lived up to the hype immediately. As well, and you can probably say, I mean, I don't know about Connor McDavid and you know the year he might have had and all that stuff. And I know he was supposed to be the truth too coming up, but Ovechkin lived up to the hype off the rip, off the rip. And so I'm gonna go with Ovechkin in this conversation for sure. He's he didn't have the greatest rookie season in NHL history, but in the context of this conversation, he certainly he certainly deserves to be in it. Did did anybody say Kareem? Not yet. He, he didn't say no. Nah, he didn't say Kareem yet. Mm. Yeah. I mean, rookie, 28 points a game, 14 and a half rebounds. That's 14 and a half rebounds as a rookie. I mean, obviously, he's a skyscraper, but to, to average that, unstoppable. I'm going to stay with basketball. I'm going to WNBA, though. Candace Parker, that mm. rookie season coming off mm. straight. We, and we haven't, we have not seen many rookies. Have that type of season that Candace Parker had straight off the rip. Came in 18 and a half, nine and a half boards, three and four assists, two and a half blocks, MVP, rookie of the year, all star, and WNBA first team off the rip. That's my goat. Y'all need to start with the Caitlin Clark stuff. Let's play a game first. She got to get past speak, Candace Parker. Speaking of, we're going to be talking about her next, oh. like ne next year if we do this as, as rookie of the year, best rookies of the year of all time. Is she on it? Nah, she's not going to have that. She's not going to have that type of season. I don't think so. She's going to have a good season, but it's not going to be yeah. the all time. I don't, I don't see it. And just keeping it, keeping it basketball because some of y'all is, is ignorant and think, oh. Everybody doesn't like Caitlin Clark because she's white and it's black people hating. If you watch her game, first game, they playing right now. First game, this is where my issue, my concern is, where I think she's not going to have that much of an impact that she had at Iowa right off the rip. Six for 16 from the field. 
how many of those shots were three pointers? 13. 13 of the 16 attempts were three pointers. She won't live and die by it. And we talked about it in a separate chat last night with the that's the issue kind of with Tyrese Halliburton. She played like that in that regard. She doesn't really have a mid range like that yet. And when she gets into the paint, she struggles to score when she's in the paint. So I think she's still got some stuff to work on offensively, but she she's her impact outside of the court is where it's the biggest. They no longer the WNBA no longer has their players flying on the same spirit flights that we hop on. <laughs> I fly spirit no way. I'm gonna say that you hop on. <laughs> Correction. And that's what I'm I'm flying. Flying. Everybody, everybody that's watching. I took I took spirit one time, not by choice. That was my Jeez. last time I was with that team. It was an uh, ABA was... team, ABA team, semi-pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They took us on a spirit flight. That next month, I didn't come to a practice to say the yeah. least. Yeah, yeah. That was that was job. Um, I, I gotta I gotta bring this up, and I think Caitlin Clark, the points you made about her are very fair, and it's all true. And and until you learn how to use the mid-range jump shot, it's gonna be hard to be a, a dominant scorer at that level. So she will struggle. More than people want to get, to. she'll she'll put up big numbers, but it'll be like twelve for thirty, like, and people are gonna gas it up. But if you're watching the games, which most people won't, unfortunately, you'll see that she's gonna have some struggles along the way. Um, and by the way, I like Caitlin Clark. I got, I feel like I got to preface this. I, 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 I love do. Caitlin Clark. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I do. I love Caitlin Clark. I love what she's about. Um, she's like a good person too. So they're a good representative for the league. Anyways. I, uh, this is probably this is my person here that I don't, I'm surprised no one brought up. CJ Stroud. CJ Stroud deserves to be in a conversation. Greatest quarter, greatest uh, rookie rookie season for a quarterback in the NFL ever. So he's got to be in the conversation as well. Hit football twice, but that that's that guy. Um, and I know it's recent, but it, the facts are facts. The numbers are un, unheard of. The lack of turnovers, the amount of touchdowns, and going into an organization and turning it around off the rip like that right away. That's what he did. So he deserves the credit, and he's got to be in that conversation for sure. Now, we, we did say in the beginning of the show that when, when we talked about it further, he'd, he'd be in there. Oh, okay, okay. I, I yeah. didn't hear all that. I mean, when, I, when, all I heard when was you're a quarterback and you only have five five interceptions, <laughs> to 23, 23 touchdowns, I mean, you use something different. And you That's take your team size. to the playoffs, and, and you told them ahead of time in press conferences – Right, you told you told the city that like, hey, this year is going to be different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, mm -hmm. he was able to talk the talk, back it up, and then some. Um, excited to see what he does this year, as long as the Bengals don't play him. Hey, he's not he's not on my list. Not this is not my my final pick, but I just want to throw it out there because it's an obscure one. It's one that most people wouldn't mention. It's one that most people don't think about. Devin Hester, his rookie year. Now he didn't he didn't pan out wide receiver wise. But rookie year, 1,100 return yards, five return touchdowns, and he had one in the Super Bowl off the rip. First play of the game, run back for a touchdown. I just want to give some love to Devin Hester, give him some flowers. Because Devin Hester, wide receiver-wise, we it, it was shaky. But that return, when you actually had kickoff returns, it was team scared of Devin Hester. For sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um Puka Nikua get some love? Yeah. Hey, if that's your pick. Is he over uh Jamar? Oh, here you go. Nah, Miles, <laughs> I, I wanna I wanna keep it stack. I, I'm really stuck on the conversation about Joe Burrow, whether or not he's injury prone or not, bro. I'm really stuck on that. I want to know. I always trying to change the subject, bro. I'm supporting you today with a Brooklyn shirt. Come on now. You ain't wear that shit. You ain't wear that for. <laughs> you didn't wear it for me. I did. I did. I wanted you to see that I was I was in line with you, bro. Re you reminisce know, on them, on them 20, 2018 Nets glory days. I'm not. I'm not hate you. See, I'm, I'm not. I'm not hating on Joe Burrow. I'm asking a real question. I know he's great. I. I, I Look, there's enough film me talking about how great he is. I'm just curious about where how Bengals fans feel about the fact that he's been out. What now is it two whole season? It's well, no, it's been, it's been two Bro, if you had the Bengals two, offensive two, line, two. you'd be injury prone too. Well, yeah, Penny Sewell, he's a elite player. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if it's more so Joe Burrow being injury prone than him having to. <laughs> 
deal, deal with that offensive, how bad that offensive line has been. Okay. I mean, I'm willing to hear that out. What is is Orlando Brown not on that team now? And no, he I mean, is. He is and he played great as the left tackle last year. And now we just got the right tackle situated with the Marius Mims coming in. Another six. That a, that's a rookie. Yeah. It's gonna be scary Alabama. Two, Alabama. Two, Georgia. Georgia. Two 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 six eight. You're right. He's gonna look real good blocking for Jake Browning next year. Uh, you a hater, bro. Just because you had to watch the misery of Zach Wilson and, and get, your hopes, up, get, get your hopes up every Sunday. You hear what you just said about the Jets? You just mad because you spent all that bread going to all them games last year just to come up with the same outcome and be disappointed. Miss me with all that. I will say, Biles is – that is that is a frivolous, crazy that's a, bread that's a frivolous use of your funds. That's a frivolous use of your, of your funds. You're spending it on to watch Zach Wilson. <laughs> Well, obviously, nobody spent the money on Zach Wilson. They spent it on Aaron Rodgers. But it'll be different this year. We got a line now. I mean, that's, at least one of us can say that. Uh. Bengals don't got a line? I mean, ask Yo, Joe Burrow. Ask Joe Burrow. The, Jet, the Jets' offensive line is going to be good, bro. They did double that. Did they, who did they pick in the first, their first round pick? The Jets did? Fashanu. We took Fashanu. That's right. That's back right. Up, we'll back up Tyron Smith. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Morgan Moses, guys like that, you know, name brand guys, not whatever the oh, brand, name the brand, brand is crazy. Like out there. Jesus, it is what name it is. Hey, my last pick before we we transition to we talk about these playoffs and end the show. <laughs> um, hey, I would be remiss if we don't mention his airiness. If we don't mention, some would consider the goat. Some would. Have him above Braun. MJ's rookie year. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. That rookie season. Bruh. 28.2 PPG. Mm. Off the off the rookie season. Off that's the a, rip. That's Max. All NBA second team. Rookie of the year. All-star. Sixth in MVP voting. 